All right, this is set 46 for the brass players. You're going to get into set 46 facing backfield. Okay, first thing we're going to take a look at is the feet. Okay, so we have your normal neutral first position here. We're just going to take your foot straight to the, to the ankle bone of the left foot, and then you're going to bring your foot forward. Okay, both legs are straight. Okay, notice the distance between my feet. It's not, it's not super wide. It's not super small. Just about six to eight inches apart. Okay, on count four, we're going to go, oh, you're also in a sing position. Turn bones, y'all can do this as well. So on count four, you're going to lean back on that left leg, bending the left leg. The knee is going over the toes. Right leg is straight. Four, one, two. You're going to be facing the woodwinds at this point. Your palms are facing up. They're very relaxed. Three, four. Your horn is going to come parallel to the ground. Your knees are going to go straight over your ankles, and your head is going to point down, so your plume is facing that way. Three, four, one. Immediately after this, you're going to swipe and start going to your spot. Okay, you're going to swipe this way with the horn. Yeah. So all together, it'll be getting to my spot, set 46. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, and you start moving to your spot. <laughs> This is for the woodwinds at set 46 during their big hold. Okay, so we're already in our lunge. I'm starting off in a right foot lunge. We're going to go through this in four eight count segments. Here's the first eight counts. So you're here, you're playing, you're playing, you're playing. Five, six, you're going to push on seven. Seven, lock eight, and open up on one with the opposite leg. Okay, so here's my right lunge. Push on seven, seven, eight, one. If I was starting off with my left foot lunge, It'll be same thing, push on seven, close on eight, open up with the right. Actually, if you've opened up with that left leg or the right leg, okay, it's going to be hold, two, three, four, five, six, hold, seven, eight. Okay, so again, you're opened up, hold, two, sway, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you are locked up here back on six. Three, four, smooth. Five, six, hold, seven, eight. Okay, so after you've done all the swing and your feet are back together, everybody's going to go with their right foot first. One, two, three, four. My foot's pointed the entire time. On count four, you're at the end zone. Five, six, you're towards the back. Seven, eight, the front leg is straight, the left leg is straight. You are bent in the back, seven, eight, and it's gonna bleed into the next eight counts. One, two, three, closing on three. So again, it'll be, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Okay, we're gonna start off where we ended up. We're launched back here, seven, eight, push up on eight, or one, one, two, three. Okay, so again, we're here on seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm going up on railway, five, six, down on seven. It's smooth. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together. So we're starting in our lunge. I'm starting with a right foot lunge. We have five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And that takes you to your four kettle. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is for the Woodwind Set 56, which is the four count hold after you guys have finished your little Soli. Okay, so you've already done your five, six, seven. On count one, lower body first, just the feet. We're gonna step back with our right foot behind your left foot, not in ski line. I'll show you one in a second. Okay, behind your left foot on count one, two, three. You're gonna pivot to the back. So again, behind your foot, one, two, three. Notice how it's actually in ski line instead of crossed. If I put it right behind myself on, on count one, one, notice it's right there, two, three, and my legs are crossed. We don't want that. Okay, so again, one, two, three. Okay, also when you're doing that, you're gonna go from straight legged to bent leg gradually. One, two, three. Okay, it's not a one, two drop. One, two, three. Sorry, I did that wrong. One, two, three. Yep, legs are bent. Okay, upper body, real simple. One, two, three. Your instrument is gonna be parallel. Saxophones, we'll figure out what to do with you guys in a second. And your arms down in the fist. Your plume is facing straight out. Okay, so again, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Try to keep the back straight. Yeah, we don't want this. Come down. Yeah, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. This is for the woodwinds going from set 56 to 57. I understand there's a move there, but right now we're just gonna, I'm gonna teach you a bit of choreography and we may or may not put it in just right now for learn it for now. Okay, so we're already turned back here. Three, four. We're starting with the lower body. Two moves or three, depending on how you look at it. One, two, three, four. The same move, you're just going up, down, up, down. Down, for, up for two, up two, down one, back up for one. So one, two, three, four. Okay, the lower body, you're just gonna take your left hand, you're gonna open it up, palm facing down. One, two, three, four. And the legs are gonna come back up on four, the arm does not. So the arm is just one, two, three. Not one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then from here, you're gonna to go to your next spot. Okay, so all together, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna move. So now this is the full run of all the woodwind production at the very beginning of part two. Keep in mind there are two sets of ripples, one at the very beginning and then one at the very end. But right now I'm just going to do it all as one. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. 